Some tornado warnings outside of our area tonight. A live look outside right now at the city. Things are OK here, but not out west. Steve Baskerville here with the very latest on those warnings. As close as Boone County, Rob, so right next door, we've had some uh, severe weather next door to DeKalb as well and Lee and Ogle counties. And uh, let's take a look at what's going on. We're concerned mainly with our Western weather watchers now because what's going on in their neighborhood is critical. Here's Terry in DeKalb County, 75 degrees in Genoa. No rain yet. Some lightning in the distance to the west. It'll be coming right through DeKalb. Um, there could be a heavy thunderstorm, not necessarily anything tornadic. Don't see anything like that as an alert for DeKalb. Here's Chris in LaSalle. That's one of the places that's under the uh, warning of the watch tonight. Rather, we don't have a warning yet, but a watch. And Chris has been watching that sky and the radar. He says he sees that thunderstorm approaching on the radar. Let's uh, take a look. If it wasn't the storms, it was the high winds from uh, non thunderstorm related evergreen park downing trees with winds up to 50 miles per hour in other places like Oak Park. There was a tree that toppled and fell on top of a car uh, this afternoon. You've got to have at least 50 mile per hour winds to do something like that. Suburbs, the city as well. There was dust kicked up from high winds around LaSalle County and places farther west. Here's the current line that we're watching. It is still producing severe weather. That darker shade, those are severe thunderstorms. The Lee and Ogle warning has been dropped. It's expired. Here's that lone. Uh, that's the only warning we have now, and that's up around Boone and Winnebago. There was a, a, a storm with rotation near the Rockford Airport, and that's the reason why there's a warning there until 10 30. Anybody who's in McHenry, I'd look for some pretty strong storms to come moving through that area pretty quickly. But Belvedere, Chemung, DeKalb, McHenry, Elgin, all in a path of thunderstorms with lots of lightning, 50 mile per hour winds are possible, even some hail. Uh, behind it is a clearing sky and better weather, but hail, heavy rain, gusty winds, and even that isolated tornado threat for another hour or so in those western suburbs. The city could get some rain, but not in the form that's fallen uh, out in the western parts of the state, and that's where the bulk of the rain was earlier, and that's where it's expected overnight tonight. And all the way up through Wisconsin, they may get even more rain than what we do out of these storms. So, uh, the winds still gusty up to 30 miles per hour or even stronger than that. 37 mile per hour wind gust around midway last few minutes. It is still very warm outside. Temperatures in the upper 70s. It's not until the system moves through that we get cooler air. We'll be mild again tomorrow from the start, but then late in the day and at night we've got cool air coming. So be on guard for rain. The showers and storms will be ending overnight tonight. The warm weather will not. It'll be close to 80 tomorrow afternoon. That front doesn't move through until later in the day on Thursday. Chilly on Friday and just about what you expect this time of year over the weekend. Okay, thank you, Steve.